Yo, what's up everybody, Isaac here, coming to you with another New World video, so I'm pretty excited, I just hit level 60 on my second character. So, what this video is going to be all about, what I did the second I hit level 60. So, one thing I want you to know is, I did not help this character with my other character. All I did with this character was I just straight leveled, I did nothing to make money, I just did the quests and I did some farming along the way because I wanted to start working on leveling up all of my different skills and that. So, you know, I've mainly focused on doing the main story quest and I would pick up some of the side story quests along the way. And then finally at the very end for my last four levels or so, I finally got the faction quests and I picked up a faction. And then for the last level and a half, I ran around picking up different locations which give you a decent amount of XP as you pick up different locations around the map. So I made sure that I went ahead and picked up all of the different dungeons since... Well, that's the main thing I'm leveling this character for is to be able to do more mutations. So. The very first thing I did, as soon as I hit 60, well, you definitely can skip this part, but I went and did one run in Genesis, and my gear score was like only 460 or something, so I was definitely under-geared, but my experience was able to make up for that and let me survive. That along with, you know, some of the players had a little bit higher gear score, I think one might have been like a 600 gear score or so. So that obviously helps as well, but as soon as I got done with the first dungeon, I got out and, well, I decided, you know what, I am going to go ahead and get myself one full setup of gear that is going to be M10 viable. I had about 10k gold to my name. Like, I didn't do any money making with this character, I didn't transfer any money to this character for my other character, didn't transfer any weapons, no gear, nothing. Just everything from on this character is from this character alone. So, just straight up leveling, doing quests, I ended up with about 10k when I hit level 60. And I did turned some of my ores into ingots and that kind of thing and sold some and probably got like 15 to 2k extra so maybe I ended up having around 12k to play with and I said you know what Genesis is currently mutated so I'm going to go ahead and put myself together an angry earth ward gear set so I jumped on the market looked what was available you know, obviously the first things first, you're going to have to decide, are you looking to be a DPS, are you looking to be a tank? And from my point of view, I said, you know what, I'm going to build a light tank set. And obviously a light tank set could double as a DPS set, so kind of versatile there. But you might even have a better luck if you're trying to build a tank set because it's going to be less sought after, so the stuff on the mark should be even cheaper. But... For 12k, all the gold that I made going from 0 to 60 without even trying to make gold. What kind of gear set was I able to put together? Honestly, a pretty darn good one. One that will be viable to take right up to M10 and even run M10s extremely viably. So, let's take a look at my gear. I just jumped on the trading post and, well checked what was available. So let's start here. What was I looking for? So obviously number one I'm looking for Angry Earth Ward. Number two I am looking for Strength, Dexterity, or Constitution. Preferably nothing that's 100% full Constitution but since this is going to be a light tanking set I have a little bit more leeway to get away with some Constitution if need be. So one one sense that I can have a little more leeway to get away with some pieces that are not going to be top gold selling pieces. Well, I can get away with 
constitution since I am building this around being a light tank set. So that did help me out some in helping find a very, very good set. Full set, everything. All of my armor, all of my jewelry, and my weapons for roughly somewhere between 10 and 12k. Some of the pieces I found were literally five to 600 gold. A couple of them were maybe three to 4k. So obviously let's get back at, at it though. What was I looking for? I was looking for ward first of all. And if I could find refreshing, that was going to be my, you know, that would be my best piece. If I could find something with ward refreshing and strength that was within my price range, that would be my absolute favorite thing, but you can't expect to find fully bissed out pieces, you know, when you're trying to buy a whole set for 12, 10 to 12 K roughly. So what did I find? I found this piece of Angry Earth Ward, Refreshing Evasion. Refreshing Evasion, very legit. It's not as good as Refreshing. It's not going to bring your cooldowns back quite as fast, but it's still very viable. And then we have some constitution but at least some strength so i tried to stay away from getting anything that's full con i can't remember if i did it yep i got one piece that was full con unfortunately but i i just decided to bite the bullet with this one it was a really pretty good price i don't remember what it was but i just bit the bullet and said and you know just to show you you know it's a 590 gear piece but it's splitting the difference to whatever my um, uh, what do they call this these days? Expertise is. So, just going to show you real quick. I have ran a total. So, I have 20 runs left out of 25. So, that means I ran 5 of them, I believe. But, yeah. So, another thing to look at. After just 5 runs... I have my pants up to 575 already. Holy cow, this stuff goes so much faster than it used to back in the day. But jewelry does still lag behind. My weapons are still lagging behind a little bit too. But, you know, you can see we got some pretty darn good progress on our armor already. After just five runs of Genesis. So, definitely the way to go. Spam those dungeon runs but you can make those dungeon runs even easier if you get yourself set up right off the bat with a really nice set so you know anyone should be able to afford a set like this there's really no excuses because i literally did zero things to try to make gold. hey isaac want to join us in barnacles uh not right now i'm in the middle of something but maybe oh. sh maybe maybe shortly uh are you, how are you full right now uh, let me see what I have. Yeah, I definitely want to run it. I'm, I'm in the middle of something right this second, but I definitely do want to run it. Oh, okay. All right. Are you, uh, what's, what's your uh, group? I might go do cap. I only have one other person in here, so it might be a bit. Uh, okay. But, uh, we're going to look for one. Yeah, sounds good. I'm, if, if it's like five to ten minutes, I'll, I'll for sure be in. If it's like one minute, yeah, I can't, but. All right. Yeah, I'll look around for okay. you in a little bit. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, I definitely do actually want to go run some barnacles. Love this dungeon. It's good for getting drops, lots of bosses, lots of whatever chests. But you also get this quest where you get a free orb every time to level up your gear. But, um, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, no, he's his ex cap, so maybe he's bailing on that plan. But, yeah. So, where was that? Where was that? Um, yeah, our gear. Let's keep talking about that. So, one nice thing about chest piece. Well, we're going five light since we're going tank because we're taking the round shield. So, that allows us to get away with a light chest piece, which isn't going to be as sought after. If we're going to be a DPS, we're looking for four light pieces and a medium chest. So, chest piece absolutely love to have sturdy energy on my chest piece and very very easy to get this piece is i don't know is less than a thousand gold just super super readily available 
easy piece to get and it's a very strong piece to have sturdy energy when you block a hit will below 30 percent stamina gain 37 percent stamina regeneration for over six seconds and these numbers you know that the numbers will be a little bit higher i think once the gear score is higher but perfectly legit piece for super cheap off the market so once again you know i jump on the market i search for a white glove with angry earth ward and let's see what can i find hopefully it has either strength or dexterity ideally it has refreshing but secondarily i'm going to look for refreshing evasion or if i happen to get a weapon perk we'll take that too but mainly looking for cooldowns so refreshing or refreshing evasion refreshing is a little bit better but we're willing to settle for refreshing evasion so perfect perfect glove piece there no problem with it and our pants so angry earth ward and resilient obviously doesn't help us at all unfortunately it is full constitution but we can get away with as long as we don't end up with over a hundred constitution we'll be okay preferably we can keep it under 50 then it's gonna help us double this gear as dps set but nonetheless we can replace this one pants with something with strength or dexterity and we'll make this work just perfectly fine as a dps set as well but so yeah that's our pants shirking energy very nice to have if a hit is avoided by a dodge well in a light equipment load you gain 14 stamina and that's going to be perking oh i mean obviously it has a six second cooldown but we're going to constantly get this to perk outside of that six second cooldown because as the light tank we're constantly dodging attacks so very nice perk to have on your pants you cannot go wrong with a pair of pants like that as a light tank and then this was the one that i settled the most for freedom definitely not my top one to go for but it still doesn't hurt there's times when you will be dealing with roots and there's times when like if you're in an ice dungeon freedom's actually very very nice to have but it's going to reduce the duration of slow stun and root. so as a light tank you know sometimes when you get hit you're going to be getting some slows added to you that if you can make those slows expire faster it is helpful so although this isn't my first go-to perk it's just it's really not that bad but this was the one I had to settle the most for and I think I still had to pay like a couple of K for it. So it's just what was available on the market. I got lucky with some of these other pieces being pretty cheap. But you know this one, my least favorite piece that I still had to pay probably a couple K for or so. I don't remember the exact number of each of these. But all of this together added up to roughly somewhere between 10 and 12 K. But let's move on to the rest of it. So the shield, a perfect shield. I mean, maybe not perfect. It, if it, it'd be better if this was refreshing or maybe uh, sturdy energy or something. You know, this perk could be something a little bit better. But this shield was literally, I don't know, it was somewhere between like 50 gold and just dirt cheap. It might have been like 80 gold or something. Just dirt cheap. We have Angry Earth Ward, Sturdy, Refresh and Evasion. This will be perfect all the way up till M10. But by the time we get to M10, we'll have found ourselves a replacement drop from the dungeon itself. So this one, even though this would be legit at M10, 100% perfectly legit at M10, we will find a free replacement for this one in the very near future. So... Our amulet, this is kind of the main thing that's going to be getting changed out pretty soon. But it's obviously going to depend from one week to the next. So for my amulet, I just said I'm going to settle for something that's got health and divine and we're going to call it good. So, you know, we don't necessarily need to have, you know, whether it's nature protection or ice protection or which ever mutation type it is obviously that's what you want ideally but at the lower level mutations it's more than enough just to put gems in and even then you can get away with the first few levels even without the proper gems in your gear so i said i'm going to settle for this amulet i'm pretty sure this one was like a thousand gold or something like that super cheap and very viable health 
that means we have a higher health pool divine you know very strong sometimes pretty uh, underrated 9.1% health from all incoming healing effects so it's going to improve our incoming healing our ring this was a tough one to decide on but ultimately I just went with a cheapo but a cheap ring but it's very very efficient it's all we need to get started as a tank and even you can run this at M10 and it's gonna do the job Hardy this is a very pretty important one so we can have more stamina for an extra dodge and then leeching it really it really is handy as a tank so you're sitting in the sacred and you're taking lots of damage but you know obviously the sacred it's going to help amplify all the healing incoming healing you get and obviously have your divine help amplify all your incoming healing and then you you have leeching and it's definitely going to help keep your health topped off so very viable ring definitely could be viable all the way up through m10 and even at m10 level this was probably like 600 gold or something and our earring always tough to pick up your earring and make a choice on this one unfortunately it is full constitution but i really didn't want to settle for anything less than refreshing toast and despised and even this earring was like maybe 3k to two to 3k even and even it being full constitution you go up to something with full strength yeah they are just they get really really expensive these earrings so so just to you know this is all you need as a tank refreshing toast and despised so unfortunately it is constitution eventually we'll have to hopefully find something that doesn't I have a few joining now. doesn't uh, have full con but uh so yeah definitely a piece that we plan to upgrade in the future but this this will work right through and even in the m10 dungeon because as a light tank and even as a heavy tank you can get away with 100 con in your build you can get away with 200 con in your build some people run 300 con in their build but you know i do aim for 100 con or less when i can so yeah that's why i try to keep the constitution as low as possible but our uh our weapons here this sword 600 gold angry earthbane keen vicious so a pretty acceptable damage sword you know the perfect sword would be angry earth refreshing move plus vicious something like that but obviously that would be a pretty expensive sword so you know settle a little bit but at the same time this sword is absolutely perfect all the way up till m10 and it would still be extremely viable to use in the m10 and our hammer here you know we don't have any bane but as a tank it's not our main purpose to do damage and secondarily the hammer it's not a big damage dealer it's all about utility so first things first as a tank we need to be providing utility for our team so i found this hammer for dirt cheap it, well his i can't remember how much it might have been like 2k gold or something but still for a refreshing move it was you know acceptably cheap so it has hated on it you know i would prefer it to be something else because we don't need hated but it doesn't hurt either as a tank obviously more threat generation we cannot go wrong with that by any means refreshing move you know i i always say on your hammer make sure you either get refreshing move or sundering shockwave both if you can but those ones are tough to get unless it's just a two perker you can get them but yeah so refreshing move very legit for every single dun this hammer would work any dungeon shirking abyss you know it is going to perk quite a bit a nice additional uh bonus of damage only 36 percent here but it goes up to like 39 or 40 by the time we hit 625 on our gear score here so another nice thing you buy all of this gear at 590 plus and sure your um your expertise isn't quite up there yet but it splits the difference so you start off with extreme amounts of survivability so you go ahead and you buy this full set for roughly 10k 
and you go jump into your first dungeon, you're already all warded up. You know, even though it's a regular dungeon, your very first dungeon, you just have crazy survivability for it being your first dungeon because one, you have the ward, and two, you're gonna have a good a good gear score level. So you can see here my expertise is 523, but we actually have a gear score of 559. So higher the gear score on our armor, more damage mitigation. Higher the gear score on our weapons, the more outgoing damage we're going to do. So, yeah. Highly recommend that, um, you know, the second you get to level 60, just go ahead and buy yourself a full set of M10 worthy gear. And go ahead and just grind away at that dungeon whatever it happens to be obviously you're not going to jump into the mutations right away but you're going to have some gear that makes those dungeons really really easy for you to run the regular dungeons and then by the time you do hit you know that 600 gear score you have that gear that you can just keep leveling grinding it right up and you're going to be able to take that right up to 625. You're going to be able to run that right into your M10s. So, hope this helps you. A lot of people, you know, they're pretty intimidated by the gear grind. Where do I get my gear? It's so expensive to buy it. It's so hard to buy, you know. It's so hard to farm it. It is. It's, it's tough to farm gear because you're just hoping for such and such drop like yeah sure over time you're gonna get so many different random drops but this is like such a strong gear set for 10k gold no nobody can complain that 10k gold is too much you're always gonna have stuff to spend gold on and you know one thing i do have to confess i do not have any houses yet so i built this character and i've just straight been grinding you know, I haven't been grinding, grinding, grinding on it, but anytime I jump on, jump on, it's simply just trying to get levels on it. So, z I did zero money making for this character. Transferred zero gold to it. Transferred zero equipment to it. And within an hour of being level 60, I have a full set of M10 gear with the gold I made just from leveling and doing quests. So... I hope that helps you with some of you who are so intimidated about how hard you think it is going to be to get gear. And another thing I would like to throw at you. A lot of people are worried about leveling gear. Is it going to be worth it once the gear sets change? We don't know what's going to happen. You know, One theory of something that very easily could happen. We are going to get a whole new tier level. So say this is tier 5 gear. And that takes you up to 625. Maybe you get tier 6 gear that takes you up to 650. And you still need the 625 to do through M10. But 650 is going to take you through M20. You know, this is that's just speculation. But if you're holding off from leveling up to 625, you might leave yourself in a bad situation. Because you might be lagging far behind. Because who knows, they might just add additional gear score to the gear. And, you know, obviously there's a the talk of getting rid of Ward and Bane, but is that worth uh, holding off from having fun in the game as things stand? You know, just go ahead. Like I said, you can spend 10k and you have yourself a super legit M10 full gear set ready to rock. Sure, you're probably going to upgrade your amulet to Void Protection, to Nature Protection, to Ice Protection, but chances are you're going to get one of those to drop once you start doing those mutations anyways so nothing to worry about there and worst case scenario you can buy them for two three four K and you're gonna make that back just running your dungeons no problem so hope this helps remove some of the intimidation factor that you have like I said within an hour of getting to level 60 10 K just straight up bought a M10 worthy set of gear. So that's going to cover it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to get to them, but we'll catch you on the next one.